guys, welcome back to Care DIY What. Today we have a Care DIY special. I am participating in the $5 Goodwill Challenge hosted by Hillary from Old World Home. And so this challenge is pretty simple. You take $5 to a flea market, a yard sale, Goodwill, Facebook marketplace, and you get something that you can basically thrift into something new. So I went to Goodwill and I got two of these vases. This was $1.99 and this was 99 cent and both of these were half off. And this one was $4.99 and if you are a member of Goodwill's um, membership, their rewards club, you can get 20% off of your purchase. So these three I got for 20% off. So I think it came about to be $5.20 which is like, it's over the $5, but the 20 cents, it's all right, it's going to a good cause. So I took these and made some really cool stuff and I'm super excited to show you what I did and what I came up with. So before we get into the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe, click that subscribe button down below, click the bell so that you're notified each time I upload a video, but also don't forget to check out Hillary's channel at Old World Home. I'll link her down below in the description box and also you can click the link up above if you want to go to it right away after you watch this video. So let's not waste any more time guys, let's get into the DIY. Okay first we're going to go ahead and sand this down a little bit so that we can easily paint over the snowman. Once you have that sanded down we're going to use red paint and painters tape. You'll see that once you sand it down it's nice and smooth and easy to cover with the red paint. I left the uh, sides the way they were just to give it a little bit of vintage character. Go ahead and cover the parts around the top of the sleigh that you're not going to paint. I decided to cover it with painter's tape just because I know that painting gets a little messy. So I decided to do it in red. Um, to give it a little bit of character. Now don't be worried that you still see the snowman. I used about three coats so I did one coat let it dry fully and then I went back over it with another coat and then lastly I did another coat so I did three coats total to go ahead and cover the snowman. So be patient with the coats it will come out perfect just give it a little bit of time to dry between each coat. So while this dries, we're going to go ahead and head on over to the next project featuring the glass bowl vase. I decided to make a grump tree that I saw featured at Trader Joe's with a Dollar Tree tree and some neon green spray paint. Spray painted the tree to give it a little lighter green look. Now go ahead and pull the tree together, the branches together nice and tight. And I used some red ribbon from the Dollar Tree to wrap around the tree. So just wrap it around nice and tight. Once you go around the tree, just continue to pull it from the bottom so that it's nice and tight. I used some fake snow that I had lying around to fill the bowl with so that the tree would stay a little bit sturdier. And I had some leftover red fabric from something. I have no idea what I used that for before, but I had some left over so I decided to use that to cover the bowl. So go ahead and wrap the vase with the red fabric and I used some wired jute that I had from the Dollar Tree from some other project and I just took that and tightly wrapped it around the vase to give that bunched look. So you can bunch and go along the vase and you can go ahead and snip as you see fit to give it a nice bunched look. And lastly I took the red ribbon and put it through the top of the ornament and just simply attached the ornament to the very end of the tree branch. Thank you. 
And that's it. I have my own grump tree that I can use for home decor or I can use in a little office space on a desk or anywhere. Okay, and now we can head back on over to the sleigh which has dried. I took some a piece of garland that I had from Dollar Tree, some tinsel from the Dollar Tree and a little embellishment from the Dollar Tree and made a little tiny wreath that I can use as the O in the middle of the sleigh. Putting that together was nice and simple and I have a J and a Y that I didn't use from another project that I decided to use for this. Go ahead and glue that on. I used hot glue, you can use E6000, wood glue, whatever you think will allow it to stick. The hot glue worked just fine for me and they haven't moved a bit. And that's it. So this will be used in my home for home decor for this season. And I hope that once you go to the Goodwill, you'll find some good finds like I have. So I hope you enjoyed everything that I showed you from the Goodwill store. Don't forget to check out Hillary's channel. I'll link it down below. And let me know. Tell me some things that you found at the thrift store. Tell me things that you like to redo from secondhand places. So don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified each time I upload a video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next video.